Welcome back, everyone. Again, sorry for being gone for so long, but we are back in it, and today we are opening some old stock. So here we got the Grookey, Galar Collection, the Sobble, Score Bunny. I got these around the time I started, or I think before I started doing my YouTube channel. And I got these from, I believe I got them from GameStop. Uh, I think during Christmas time, I'm not quite sure. But yeah, I've had these hanging around for a long time. And the reason I haven't opened them is because, well, new stuff just keeps popping up. I keep buying those and I really want to open the new nice looking stuff. So it's kind of hard for me to just go back to all the old. But I know I got some new stuff to open, but I have to get rid of these. I have to open them. So why don't we do that now? Alright, so why don't we get started with the Grookey box. Now Grookey is my favorite starter out of the game. I don't know about you guys, but I just think it's a cute looking Pokemon and its final evolution looks pretty cool. But I have opened one of these before, not on the channel, but just on my own because uh, I just kind of didn't want to wait and wanted to open something. And I swear, I swear that I got ripped off. I didn't get anything out of the packs. And I can't re remember exactly how it went down because I opened it, like, I think a couple months ago. But, man, I, it just didn't seem right. And I, I swear, one of the packs was all loose and all that. So, what I'm looking to do today with these boxes is see, are they scammed or not? Will we see some uh, repacks? Will we see some loose packs or something like that to that effect? Who knows? Maybe it's just an odd box, some odd packaging. But... You never know. These did come from GameStop, and uh, you never know with those people. So why don't we get started? I suppose these are the uh, code for these little promo cards here in the front, so y'all can have that if you want. And let's see our first one. So we got a Score Bunny promo with these uh, holographic lines and all that. They look alright to me. Again, I'm not too fond of the new designs, but it's alright. Next we got... The Sobble. Very popular choice in the game for some reason. I'm not quite sure why. I thought its evolutions and all that were... I mean, pretty normal looking, not too special. The next one... is my favorite. Grookey. I do like its final evolution, the middle one, the second evolution, not so much. But it's a, it's a cute Pokemon, I do like it. Alright. So next we have our oversized card. Zamazenta V. With a Salt Tackle, number 139 of 202. You know, these oversized cards are pretty neat and all that, but... Yo, I mean, where do you put them? I know they make sleeves and stuff for them, but that's pretty uh, pretty interesting, but we really have nowhere to put these type of cards. Like seriously, even now I don't know where to put this card at right now. I guess I'll just put them over here in a corner. But alright, so next we got our pin. Got a little grookey pin here. Pretty cute. And our packs. So of course... We got some older stuff here. We got Nevolutions, obviously. Still trying to get rid of these. I wonder where they're at with the Steam Sieges, though. Don't see them as much anymore. The Unbroken Bonds. Cosmic Eclipse, one of my favorite sets. And another of Cosmic Eclipse. Now, at the time, when these boxes were released, there was no Sword and Shield. There was only just these promos right here just showing off the starter Pokemon before, I believe, the game actually came out. Or at least the set, anyway. So at the time, I think these were pretty hot. These were a pretty hot item. Everybody was after, you know, the what was coming up and all that. So let's see. Let's start with Evolutions. Hopefully we get something out of this. Now again, I said the last time I opened a box, it was kind of sus. You know? And it was one of these Cosmic Eclipse packs. And I found that the Cosmic Eclipse packs do 
They look like they have some re-glue or some glue problems. Because there's always like an excess. Well, let's see. How does this one go? Freck. Okay, well... We know we got something out of there, so that's good. Alright, let's see. One, two, three. When it comes to evolutions. Trainer, Kakuna. Another Trainer, Tangela, Volpix, Energy, Voltorb, Charmander, a Reverse Poliwag. And a Pidgeotto, EX. Very nice. I haven't actually pulled an EX or anything to that effect from evolutions. I've only ever pulled like a couple hollows. Which I actually kind of, uh, prefer, because, of course, they're the hollows of all the old cards, and that just brings me back. But alright. First pack, and we got something out of it. Very good. Alrighty, Unbroken Bonds. So we can't say that these are, this has been a scammed box. You see what I'm, you see what I'm saying here with the excess glue? Have any of you guys ever seen something like that? It's ridiculous. It just looks like it's been re-glued, which, uh, it probably hasn't, but that's just probably how they, how they come shipped. I don't know. Would I accuse GameStop employees of possibly repacking stuff? I mean, you never know. Okay, so this one, man, I swear this is what I hate. Okay, there we go. There's your pa uh, there's your code. Always swapping the codes around. Three, four, right? Because this is Sun and Moon at this point. So we got our energy, our fairy charm, Chip Chip, Ice, pa uh, ice Pig, Tyrogue, Rhyhorn, Miltan, Slowpoke, Booper, Sandile, a Reverse Diglet, and a Clefable. Nothing on that. Alright, Cosmic Eclipse. See, this feels tight. Unlike that odd pack that I got in the last box. I didn't record it because I just wanted to open it on my own. I really should have. But this is very different from that pack that I opened. It just don't feel it. It just did not feel the same. Alright, now how does this one go? Flip? Let's see. Is it a flip? Nope. Damn it. <laughs> well now you know it's nothing, so I don't know what you would want out of that code. But... I guess we'll go through it. One, two, three, four. Got Energy, Mallow, and Lana. Chaotic Swell, Tropius, Trapinch, Spiel, Pissimian, Rowlet. I do love that starter from the game. Lillipop, Throw, and Slurpuff. I do find myself favoring all the grass type Pokemon for some reason. Like, um. Well, I really like Grookey, of course. I like Rowlet. My favorite in second gen was um, Chikorita, which apparently is not very well liked by most people. Can't understand why. Your code? I like her because she's cute. I'm not much of a, a competitive Pokemon player. I just really like playing the game casually. And I just favor all the cute Pokemon. There's that cool looking Jolteon. Ends Resolve, Mawile, Eevee, Flabebe, Sneasel, Natu, Trapinch, a Reverse, Lunala. That actually looks pretty cool. And a Drampa. So that was our entire box. And all we got is, of course, the promos. And just one pull. And that's pretty weak. I mean, it is just four packs, but... it's kind of, It kind of sucks when you spend money on an entire... Uh, Specialty box or something like that and the only pull you get is just one out of the packs if that and just the promos So that kind of sucks, but all right, let's get for the next box all Right, so next up on the list Sobble as you can see this is the price I pay for them I don't know what they're worth now not that they're still in the stores. I don't think unless they're old stock but Let's see how GameStop does us with the next box. Alrighty. So as you can see we got three different promos. And I believe that there's only two different kinds of promos 
in the boxes. And so if you look at your third box, you'd probably get like a mix of both or something like that. So you got a different looking Grookey. I would probably prefer this one, maybe. The contrast is a little better. But alright. Here's your code for the promos. And our next one is a Score Bunny. I think, you know what's funny, when the game came out, Score Bunny was going to be my choice. I did like how Score Bunny looked, and then I saw his evolutions, and I was like, yeah, no thanks. <laughs> So it's like it's it's like the least liked one. All right. And we got Sobble. Again, most people's favorites for some odd reason, I suppose, because it's maybe really cute. But I mean, it's not gonna stay that way forever unless you put a Neverstone or something on it, or press B when it tries to evolve. So here we got our oversized car, Zacky and V. I believe the. The regular size version is actually a pretty good price. Unless that's Rebel Clash that I'm thinking of. No, it's probably this one. But yeah, number 138 of 202. And I believe I have the gold card of this, which is the rarest card in the set. Worth at least 30 bucks. But alright. I don't think this one's worth that. After all, it has an oversized card, which means it is unplayable. So here you got our Sobble Pin. Very nice. And move on to the packs and our another chance at getting some pulls. Alright, so what do we got here? We got another Cosmic Eclipse, another Evolutions of course, and I believe it's just the same throughout. Another Unbroken Bonds, another Cosmic Eclipse. So let's see if we got scammed in this box. That's kind of a crappy feeling. You get scammed once. And all of a sudden, you just don't trust. You just don't trust in any product anymore. You know? Alright, uh, is it flipped or is it this way? I think they've all been like that now that I think about it. Alright, one, two, three, the front. Let's go for that classic Charizard. Maintenance, Brock's Grit, Super Potion, Vulpix, an Energy, a Magikarp, Weedle. I still love this old artwork. Definitely my favorite. Electabuzz. Hey, we got a Reverse Energy. Those are the ones you want. And... Dude! Alrighty! We do another pull from Evolutions. Normally Evolutions just doesn't give out very much. But we got a Mega Blastoise EX. Very sweet. Very nice. This actually reminds me of the card I had just pulled on an Instagram vid. I don't know if I put it out there yet, but if you guys do want to see more content, more stuff that I don't show on the channel, go ahead and follow my Instagram, because I believe I pulled a very nice EX. Now, I won't tell you here. You're going to have to go and watch, but it's a pretty nice card. Oh, man. Very nice. Alrighty. Sleeve this one up. And I'll sleeve up the reverse as well. And if you want to, if you get energy cards, these are the ones you want. These have a little bit of value to them, probably not much. But I mean, it's better than, you know, just your regular old hollow, I suppose. Alright. Unbroken Bonds. I do find that the reverse energies are actually decently rare. Okay, I think I saw something here. There's your code. Now, why do I not show the QR code? Well, it's to uh, make sure people have a chance to get it. Now, if you don't get the codes, even though you're like one of the first few people to watch, it just takes one person to go ahead and just grab everything. I don't use the codes myself. I don't play the card game. Maybe eventually when I start streaming. But, uh, yeah, you know how it is, guys. First come, first serve. Fire Crystal, the Evolution Spray. Togetic, and I see some shiny up there. Rhyhorn, Growlithe, I like that artwork. Growlithe, one of my favorites. Oh, that's a cute Cubone right there. Rylou is one of my sister's favorites. Even though she doesn't really care much for Pokemon, she does love Rylou. A Porygon, a Genovani's Exile Reverse, and we got a full art, everyone. Venomoth GX. I do like using this one next to Butterfree. Play the original games. No, 
Not too bad. I believe this is, uh, I don't remember his, Koga. Yeah, this is one of Koga's Pokemon who uses uh, poison, uh, poison type Pokemon, the gym leader. Not bad. Not bad. I am getting pulls. I can't can't deny I am getting pulls. So I haven't been ripped off so far. I guess that box was just a uh, just a one in a hundred. But here we got a cosmic eclipse. That looks a little. This one feels pretty tight. This one feels a little loose. But it looks okay. I don't even see that excess glue problem I've seen before. But all right, let's. Let's, man, let's take a look. Mm, nope, looks okay. Maybe just the maybe the cosmic eclipse packs are just a little funny. I don't know what you guys think. But if you got if any of you guys have ever been scammed before, do you know? Leave a comment saying your uh, telling your story per se. Because I would say the, the places where you most likely get scammed is places like a, a card shop, sadly. But Walmart, I don't really think so. Places like a big box store, because I don't really think people would care there too much, except for like any random person who comes in. Galalee, Reverse, and a Crabominable. Nothing on that. But yeah, like I have seen some like open boxes in Walmart and stuff like that, so people just try and steal stuff, I guess. You know, who would be stealing in those cases? The kids? The adults? You probably have those types of kids that would uh, probably do something like that, but I feel like it would be like the grown grown people, the collectors who are just trying to get some free stuff. All right. Energy, Guzma and Hollow, Holla, and I do want to get the full art of that one. I want to get some Guzma cards, those uh, full art rares and all that. Those are some sick looking cards. I normally go for the waifu cards, but Guzma's is pretty freaking nice. Ponyta, Crabrolla, Carvana, uh, Chinchow, Zuril, or a sad looking reverse Eevee. That's pretty cute though. I do love Eevee. And a Narmaldo. Yeah. Speaking of Eevee, I haven't even finished the Eevee game. The Let's Go. Really need to jump back on that. All right, next box. All right, everyone. Score Bunny, you're next. Let's tear into you and see what you got for us. You know, it's funny. Normally, I'm pretty careful with how I open my boxes. It's not like I try to keep them or anything, but I don't know. I guess I'm just some kind of hoarder. Speaking of hoarding, I am planning on trading in all my bulk for booster boxes. I don't like to sell or trade anything that I, I collect or anything like that, but you know, not everybody has unlimited money, especially if you're starting out on YouTube or as a content creator and not making anything yet. You gotta do what you can to afford the boxes. So alright, Sobble, and I believe that's the first kind of artwork we've gotten, yeah. So we've already gotten this. Alright. Here's your code for the promos. So with those uh, with those codes, y'all get three chances, unless somebody takes freaking all of them. So we got another Grookey. We've already got one of these. There's a chance we haven't gotten this one. I think I looked at the boxes before and it was different. Yeah, I think this one's different from the ones we've seen. So we've already gotten two of the same from Score Bunny. Yeah. Yeah, so this is the only one we were missing. And I do like this one, even though it doesn't have the flames, the extra details and all that. I find that simplicity in Pokemon cards just makes them look a little nicer. So, alright. Alright, the oversized card. Another, Zamazenta V. Obviously, you got three different types of boxes, but it doesn't mean you get three different types of artwork. You just get a mix of promos, and there's only two different types... And there's only two legendaries. And I don't know. I don't really like that. Them, you get three different types of boxes, but what, what difference do you get aside from maybe missing one promo? That's kind of a rip. 
It's all right. I forgot the pen was still in there. All right, so here we got our <laughs> score bunny. Right, I forgot its name. Our score bunny pin. This one's pretty nice. I think score bunny still looks pretty cute as a starter. And they're all pretty, pretty nice when they start. It's when they start evolving and turning into those awkward teen years that you'll start to develop, uh, you know, whether you like one or the other or not. So another evolutions, another unbroken bonds, and two more cosmic eclipse. I haven't gotten, you know, I've opened a few of these now during the Instagrams and during some videos, and I haven't pulled any character cards. And I'm still missing some. I really want that Steelix. Okay, evolutions. Will we get another hit from evolutions? That would be, that would be pretty cool. Pretty unheard of. All right, code. One, two, three, the front. Come on, Charizard. I wonder what the Charizard's worth now in this one. So we got our trainer, another trainer, Misty. So this is a secret rare, but they ain't worth a dang thing because they're just kind of in there pretty easily. See, it's a 109 out of 108, so it is a secret rare. But again, not worth Jack. Magnemite, Energy, Growlithe, Machop, Voltorb, Voltorb Reverse. And we didn't get anything on this one. I suppose I can't complain too much considering we get pulls on both. Heck, we even got a reverse energy and an EX out of one of them. All the luck went into that one pack. All right, Unbroken Bonds next. I hope I don't make this video too long. I wanted to come up with something real quick for you guys. The code. Because I've been gone for like three weeks and then I finally released a video uh, recently. So if you haven't seen that, go watch that. I opened five mystery boxes. Just to let y'all know what it's like. Dodorio? Dodrio? Sorry about that. Try attack I like that move. Metapod? Pharaoh? I see something nice back there. Esper? I do like this Pokemon. Very cute. Squirtle? Rhyhorn? Radita, Goldeen, Reverse Do Duo. I like that artwork actually. It's pretty nice. And bruh! Dude! We pull our we pull a golden trainer, Poke Gear 3.0. It, it may not be a character. It may not be a Pokemon, but <laughs> number 233 out of 214, a secret rare. Out of one of these box cards, box packs. After I said I got screwed on the first one that I haven't recorded. Centering's a little to the left over here, but not too bad. Very clean. Man, that is very awesome. Well, I can't say that I've been, uh, I've been scammed here. I wonder where the heck I got that first box from. I don't know if I got it from GameStop. Maybe I got it from Walmart or something. But all right. Nice pull so far, and we still got two packs. All right, Cosmic Eclipse. Give me something. Give me that Full Art Lily. Really been wanting that card. So here's the uh, code. I've been thinking about buying the booster box and doing it. But, uh, again, I'll be searching for one card. I'm just going to be like, just one more booster box. They're not cheap. Pangoro, Heracross, Lily's Pokedol. Come on, Lily, Rowlet. Phantom, Magnemite, Lillipuff, Trapinch, Reverse Torkoal, and an Entei. Just a regular non holo card, which is weird to get whenever you have a, like, a Legendary on there. Alright, another Cosmic Eclipse. Our last chance to get something out of these Cosmic Eclipses. I don't think I've gotten anything out of them yet, have I? I have not. The, the majority of my pulls has come from Evolutions, which is... Funny. Code? Who knows? Maybe I did get scammed. They just left the evolutions. They're just like, well, those aren't worth anything, so let's just leave those. Alrighty then. Our energy. Asilio. Bisharp. I swear this Pokemon is. This Pokemon just looks dangerous to have around. I mean, it's covered in freaking knives and blades. Tropius. Piplup. Cosmog. Ponyta. A sad looking Eevee, Duskull, and Apom Reverse. 
And hey, we got one of my favorite Pokemon, and it's a Hollow, Alolan Ninetales. I love both versions. I do think I like the Fire version uh, just a little bit more, but I love both. It's very nice, very beautiful, but it is just a regular Hollow. It's interesting these days how you can get something like a Hollow, which back in the day this is all we got, and it just doesn't seem very interesting anymore. But all right, guys, these are our pulls. For today's video, not too bad really. A Pidgeot EX, a Mega Blastoise EX, a Reverse Energy, a Full Art Venomoth GX, a Secret Rare Pokegear 3.0. Not, I did not expect to get one of these, and a Hollow Alola Nine Tails, and of course, all of our promo cards. Plenty of them, doubles, <laughs> maybe even triples. I think no, yeah, triples probably. But yeah, if you guys like this video, do remember to like, subscribe, ring the bell button, leave a comment and suggestion, and do follow me on Instagram to see some polls that you don't see on these videos. And bit shoot, I don't know when this video will get to you guys. I do apologize. The site just isn't posting my stuff. I don't know what's going on. I have to repost over and over again. But yeah, so remember to come back, guys. You want to see more? Remember to keep on collecting. And keep on sharing. See you guys next time.